All right, hope everyone's doing wonderful today. Today what I got is I got something pretty interesting and cool to check out with you all. We'll be talking about a random rare old Magic the Gathering set that might not be too known, and that is actually the Salvat or Hatchet Magic the Gathering set that is actually the set symbol of a flying Pegasus. How cool is that? I love the card game Magic the Gathering. I love talking about strange and random things. I always like checking out old demo packs and sampler packs and things that people might not be too aware about. In this set, I came aware of it about maybe like six months ago when I decided I wanted to get my hands on some of the cards just to kind of talk a little bit about the history of it, check it out with y'all, and just have some fun. Uh, very interesting set. Like I said, uh, this came out in 2005. It's called Salvat. Uh, or Salvat, I'm not sure really the pronunciation of it. And if you can tell, these actually are not English cards. There was a few versions, and there is an English version, but those ones are super hard to find, super expensive, and uh, they only came out in the UK. Anyways, a little bit of information about this set. It's called Salvat. It came in 2005. It's like a reprint set that was only released into Spanish, French, and Italian markets, and very few uh, English uh, in the UK. So there was some English, but it's very hard to find that stuff. And it is pretty hard to find some of this stuff as well. It was distributed in booster packs of 12 cards that came with a bi-weekly issue of like a Magic the Gathering encyclopedia. So these cards were, you got them if you like subscribe to some sort of Magic the Gathering encyclopedia. And they came in like booster packs. I'm not really sure what encyclopedia that was. Uh, or how you even got that encyclopedia, mostly because it wasn't uh, in the United States. It was, I think, Spain, uh, France, uh, Italy, and uh, somewhere in the UK, I believe, since it's a Spanish, French, Italian, and uh, English version in the UK. Um, the cards, they're, you can know that they're from this set because they have the flying Pegasus symbol right down there. I just thought that was so cool. Um, bring this to a Friday Night Magic or something like that. Show everyone that there's a set with them in Magic the Gathering. It's a flying Pegasus. Super wild. Uh, just such a bizarre, strange set that really uh, not many people know about. Or I don't think many people know about it. I could be wrong. But uh, yeah, I just wanted to share this because I love to share these type of things. Uh, all of these cards, they are uh, legal in tournaments and stuff since they were, um, they were made... Uh, with the help of Wizard of the Coast. It's not like this magazine company or encyclopedia company just made them without them. So you can use them in tournaments if you would like. And uh, they're just a very interesting set that... Oh, wait. this uh, I have Swarm of Rats here. This is a random 8th edition card. I didn't mean to put that in here. I think I just wanted to uh, compare it to this one right here. Yeah, so I'll set that one right there. And uh, yeah, so these are cards that you can use in Magic the Gathering tournaments. It's very cool. Uh, they did come... Uh, there was pre-constructed decks that you could make out of them. Uh, I believe 10 pre-constructed decks and 12 for the Italian version under the name of Hachete, which is, I believe, another name for it. It's either Salvat or Hachete uh, or Hachete. I'm not really sure the pronunciation of them, so just bear with me. I could be saying them wrong. Uh, a little bit more about the information. There was a couple decks. There was Most of them were like tribal decks. There was like a rat deck, Ravenous Rats. There was an Elf's deck. There was a Spirit's deck. There was a Sliver's deck. There was a Ninja's deck, pretty cool, a Zombie's deck, there was an Angel's deck, there was a Wizard's deck, there was a Berserk deck, there was a Thalid's deck, so like Sapperlings and stuff, you got like a Beast's deck, and then you got a Cat's deck, and uh, those I believe were all of the theme decks. So they were like very tribal, heavily influenced decks. Uh, I mostly found out about these cards, I think, looking online for Marinar. I wanted some copies of Marinar. It's probably one of the, my favorite rat cards in the game this is the version uh, that i have the english version and then i noticed that they actually have a different version right here uh and the interesting thing about this uh the salvat or hachette cards is other white border cards uh for me i thought the only printing of marinar was in kamigawa and i only thought it was a black border uh card but apparently there's a white border card with a set symbol of a pegasus that was released uh, overseas. <laughs> so there's another ver version of the card. Uh, this is honestly a really great card. Uh, rats have fear. You tap, sacrifice a rat. Put X11 one, one black rat creature tokens into play. Where X is the number of rats you control. So if you've got 10 rats, you sacrifice a rat. Then you put um, however many rats onto the play under rats you control. So you should pretty much like keep doubling your population of rats, which is pretty crazy. Uh, so I thought it'd be cool to get a couple copies of those. Uh, to be honest, these ones were very expensive. I think they got them for maybe just under like $10 each or something like that when the English Kamigawa version is uh, 
I don't remember how much it is, but I think it's uh, maybe like half the price or something like that. And I just thought it was very interesting because it's a variation that's actually a flying Pegasus symbol right there. I just thought it's so cool. So I just thought it was very interesting, and I wanted to share with you all that there is a Magic the Gathering set that was released in Spanish, French, and Italian, and over in UK. That is uh, was released with like a Magic the Gathering encyclopedia uh, and some sort of packs that uh, produce a bunch of interesting theme decks where the set symbol is of a Pegasus. So this one's like Maronar. I'm not really sure what this one is. You got uh, uh, Nizumi Short Fang or something like that. You got Swarm of Rats. I think I just have this one here. The 8th edition. This one is White Border as well. Number of uh, Swarm of Rats is equal to the number of rats you control. Again, these ones are Italian versions right here. This one's probably from the Wizards deck. This is definitely the Spirits deck. This is Blinking Spirit from uh, originally from Ice Age. Pay zero, return it to its owner's hand. Uh, return to your hand. Not really sure what this one is. Uh, some Nizumi right here from Kamigawa. Celestial Kirin. Remember this card? Pretty good. Uh, I'm not sure what this one is. So just very interesting. Trapola Explosiva. Uh, I believe that's Explosive Trap. Very cool. Uh, just love the symbol right there. I just really got them because of the symbol. Uh, this collection wasn't very expensive. Maybe cost me around $15 to $20 for all these cards. Uh, not a whole lot. Not a whole lot. Uh, really not a whole lot. Actually, maybe... Yeah, I think 15 to $20. Uh, most expensive ones were definitely these ones right here. Uh, got this Catola, Capello, uh, Trato. Not really sure what that is, but she's playing the mandolin so hard that her fingers are bleeding. Absolutely brutal art. Uh, some sort of tower. Uh, very interesting card right there. Nantusco Husk. Uh, pump it up for sacrificing a creature. Now look at this. Uh, one Tapapa Un Creatura. Statap, para, maybe that's untap. I think that's tap, that's probably untap. And then you create some sapling tokens right there. So yeah, you can probably kind of understand some of the cards if you know a couple <laughs> languages. It helps if you know a little bit of Spanish and Italian. Anyways, it's just very interesting to kind of share this information with you all. I was never aware of this set until a couple months ago, maybe like half a year ago or something like that. And I just think it's so cool. There's a set that came out... Uh, I think it's it's pretty rare. I don't think many people know about it. I could be wrong. It's just, I just think mainly it's so cool because the set symbol is of a flying Pegasus. How cool is that? Bring it to Friday Night Magic. People won't know where where that even came from. Yeah, so I just want to share this information with you all. Very interesting set that came with some sort of encyclopedia in Spanish, uh, French, Italian, and over in the UK in the English version. So just very cool. Just a bunch of interesting cards right there. It would have been cool to get a full complete deck of one of like the Slivers deck or something like that or one of the Rat decks. But I'm not even sure where you can find that stuff. It's probably super expensive and really hard to get. Yeah, I uh, just wanted to share this with you all. Let you know my thoughts and opinion on it. Uh, let me know if you enjoyed these kind of things. I love talking about Magic the Gathering, talking about interesting old niches and strange products that came out in Magic the Gathering. I love opening up strange demo packs, sampler packs, and just things that people might not know a whole lot about. I love opening it up, love checking out, love talking about the art, and just sharing it with you all. And I just want to say I love you all. I hope you're all doing wonderful. I hope your, 20, your 2020 is going great. Keep on keeping on, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Have a beautiful, wonderful day.